The bitter wind whipped Samantha Ray's raven hair across her face as she raced through the twilight forest, heart pounding against her ribs like a caged bird. Branches tore at her clothes, roots threatened to twist her ankles, but she dared not slow. Not with the sound of baying hounds and thundering hoofbeats growing ever closer. Tears blurred her vision, hot and stinging. Her own family, her flesh and blood, now hunting her like an animal. All because of the power that thrummed in her veins, the magic she'd kept hidden for so long. A secret she'd buried deep, knowing the dire consequences if anyone discovered the truth. For magic was forbidden in the kingdom of Alderaan, punishable by death. The ruling elite hoarded it jealously, using it to crush any hint of rebellion beneath their iron fists. Samantha had grown up watching her father and brothers wield their sorcery like a weapon, sowing fear and misery among the common folk. She'd learned to hide her abilities early, knowing the fate that awaited her if they ever suspected she was one of the blighted, a rogue magic user. Her mother's fate. She could still remember the smell of burning flesh, the screams that rent the night air as they tied her to the stake. Samantha had been just a child, watching from her bedroom window, choking on her own silent sobs. That was the night. The light went out in her father's eyes, replaced by something cold and cruel. The night her brother's taunts turned vicious, their pranks becoming torments. Samantha had buried her grief, her rage, her very soul beneath a mask of dutiful subservience. Until tonight, when a careless slip, a flash of power in a heated moment, brought her secret crashing down like a house of cards. A shout echoed behind her too close. Samantha risked a glance over her shoulder and glimpsed the silver masks of the hunters through the trees, their dark cloaks billowing. Her own brothers, twisted into merciless killers by their father's hate. Despair rose like bile in her throat. She couldn't outrun them, couldn't hide forever. Her only hope was to find the resistance, the whispered of band of rebels who sheltered those with magic. But she had no idea where to begin looking. Suddenly, the ground disappeared beneath her feet. A strangled scream tore from her throat as she tumbled down a steep ravine, flesh tearing on jagged rocks. She hit the bottom hard, the breath driven from her lungs. Dazed, bleeding, she struggled to rise. But a dark shape loomed over her, blotting out the stars. A blade kissed her throat, its razor edge drawing a thin line of blood. Please, she rasped, tears leaking from her eyes. Please, I need your help. The figure lowered his hood, revealing a face at once harsh and beautiful, all sharp angles and storm-dark eyes. Why should I help a scion of the Ray family? His voice was low, menacing. Samantha swallowed hard. Because I'm not like them. I have magic. I'm one of you. The man's eyes widened fractionally. He pressed the blade harder against her skin as if daring her to prove it. Samantha closed her eyes, summoning the power she'd suppressed for so long. It rushed through her like a river of molten gold, pouring from her fingers in a blinding wave. The man stumbled back, shielding his face. When the light faded, he was staring at her with something like wonder and fear. You have the sight, he breathed. The prophesied power. Before Samantha could respond, a horn blast cut the night. The hunters closing in. The man hauled her to her feet, his grip gentle but unyielding. Come with me if you want to live. Breathless, bleeding, Samantha followed him into the unknown. Into a world of magic and shadows, of rebellion and forbidden desire. As they raced through the forest hand in hand, she couldn't shake the feeling that her life and her heart would never be the same. The rebel camp was a hidden labyrinth of caverns and tents nestled deep in the mountains like a secret heartbeat. Samantha followed her rescuer. Raven, he called himself, through the winding paths, acutely aware of the eyes tracking her every move. Suspicious, guarded, some openly hostile. She couldn't blame them. The name Ray was synonymous with brutality, with the merciless persecution of their kind. Her father and brother's faces leered from wanted posters plastered across the camp, promising riches for their capture or death. 
Raven led her to a large tent at the center of the encampment, its canvas walls flickering with the shadows of the bonfire outside. Inside, a dozen men and women huddled around a map-strewn table, arguing in low, urgent voices. They fell silent as Raven entered, their eyes flicking to Samantha with wariness and suspicion. A tall, regal-looking woman with silver-streaked hair stepped forward, her gaze sharp and assessing. What's the meaning of this, Raven? Her voice was stern, but not unkind. You know the rules. No outsiders, especially not. Her eyes narrowed on Samantha, one of them. Samantha's heart twisted. Even here, among supposed allies, she was tainted by her family's sins. But Raven stepped forward, placing himself subtly between her and the others. She's not like them, Freya. She has the sight. I witnessed it myself. A shocked murmur rippled through the group. The silver-haired woman, Freya, sucked in a sharp breath. Impossible. The prophecy. Speaks of a ray who will bring the downfall of the king. Raven finished firmly. His storm-dark eyes met Samantha's, some unreadable emotion flickering in their depths. I believe she's the one. And if we don't help her, the hunters will drag her back to be executed, or worse. Freya hesitated, conflict playing across her proud features. Then, slowly, she nodded. Very well. She can stay for now. But she's your responsibility, Raven. Keep an eye on her. With that, she turned back to the table, effectively dismissing them. Relief coursed through Samantha, mingled with a strange flutter in her chest at Raven's unwavering support. Over the next days, Samantha struggled to find her place among the rebels. She trained with them, learning to harness her newfound powers, but always felt the weight of their distrust, their sideways glances and whispered doubts. Only Raven seemed to truly believe in her, pushing her to her limits, encouraging her in quiet moments when despair threatened to overwhelm her. Slowly, tentatively, Samantha felt the walls around her heart begin to crumble, a fragile trust taking root in the scorched earth of her soul. But even as she grew stronger, mastering spells and incantations that would have once seemed impossible, a new fear began to take hold. Her connection to Raven, once a lifeline in a storm, now felt like a tether, pulling her closer to something forbidden, dangerous. She saw it in the way his gaze lingered on her when he thought she wasn't looking, the brush of his fingers against hers as he corrected her stance, the jolt of electricity that seemed to arc between them whenever they touched. It was a pull more powerful than magic, more alluring than any spell. And it terrified her. For love, in her experience, was a weakness, a vulnerability to be exploited. Her mother had loved too deeply, and it had destroyed her. Samantha had vowed never to make the same mistake. Yet, with each passing day, each shared glance and secret smile, she felt her resolve crumbling like a castle of sand the tide of her own longing rising to sweep it away. It all came to a head one moonlit night, as they sat beside the bonfire poring over ancient texts in search of some weakness in the king's defenses. Raven leaned close to point out a passage, his shoulder brushing hers, his breath warm on her cheek. Samantha's heart stuttered, heat flooding her veins. Almost unconsciously, she turned her head, her lips a hair's breadth from his... A warning horn blasted through the night, shattering the moment like glass. Shouts of alarm echoed through the camp as rebels burst from their tents, weapons at the ready. Dread coiled in Samantha's gut, as Raven leapt to his feet, eyes hard and focused. They've found us, he said grimly, unsheathing his blade. The hunters. Your brothers. And there, stalking through the chaos like wraiths, were the silver-masked figures of her nightmares. The camp erupted into battle, magic, and steel clashing in a deadly dance. But Samantha only had eyes for the man at the center of the fray, his dark hair whipping in the wind as he fought with a savage grace. A man she'd come to trust, to lean on, to love. A man she now realized she might be about to lose forever. With a scream of defiance, Samantha plunged into the melee, magic sparking from her fingertips. She would not let them take him. She would not let the sins of her family claim another piece of her heart, even if she had to burn the world down to keep him safe. 
The battle raged like a tempest, magic rending the air, steel clashing against steel. Samantha fought with a ferocity she hadn't known she possessed, her power surging through her in searing waves. She'd spent so long hiding, suppressing this part of herself. Now, she unleashed it like a wildfire, consuming everything in its path. But even as she cut down hunter after hunter, her eyes desperately sought Raven in the chaos. She'd lost sight of him in the initial clash, and now fear clawed at her throat, sharper than any blade. A scream off to her left, she whirled just in time to see a rebel fall, clutching his chest. And there, standing over him with a bloody sword, was a face out of her darkest memories. Damon, her eldest brother. His eyes met hers through the slits of his silver mask, widening in shock, and then narrowing in rage. Samantha, he snarled, stalking forward. I should have known you'd throw in with this filth. You always were a disgrace to the family name. Samantha raised her hands, magic pulsing at her fingertips. That name is soaked in innocent blood, she spat back. I want no part of it, or you. Damon laughed, cold and cruel. You think these rebels will accept you? You're a way. Betrayal is in your blood. He lunged, faster than thought, his blade arcing toward her heart. Samantha parried desperately, sparks flying as magic met steel. They traded blows in a deadly dance, siblings turned mortal enemies. But Damon had always been the stronger swordsman, and Samantha's magic was starting to falter, exhaustion dragging at her limbs. One misstep, one slice of searing pain along her ribs, and she stumbled to her knees, Damon's sword at her throat. Pathetic, he sneered. To think I once called you sister. Samantha closed her eyes, bracing for the killing blow. At least in death, she'd be free of the guilt, the crushing weight of her family's sins. A clang of metal, a grunt of pain. Samantha's eyes flew open to see Raven standing over her, his blade locked with Damon's. Run, Samantha, he yelled over his shoulder, straining against Damon's brutal strength. But Samantha was frozen, transfixed by the sight of the two men she loved most in the world, locked in mortal combat. The man who'd shown her the beauty and power of her magic, and the brother who'd once been her protector, her hero, before their father's cruelty twisted him into a monster. I won't leave you, she screamed, staggering to her feet. She reached deep within herself, summoning every last ember of her power, letting it build like a rising inferno. Just as Damon disarmed Raven with a vicious twist, sending his sword flying, Samantha unleashed a maelstrom of pure, searing light. It engulfed Damon, lifting him off his feet and slamming him into a tree with bone-crushing force. In the ringing silence that followed, Samantha stood over her brother's crumpled form, chest heaving, tears streaming down her face. Raven limped to her side, one hand pressed to a bloody gash on his thigh. Around them the battle had stilled. Rebels and hunters alike staring in awe and terror at the display of raw, unchecked power. In that moment, Samantha understood the full weight of the prophecy, the burden of her birthright. She was the spark that would ignite the flames of rebellion, the ray of hope in a kingdom smothered by darkness. And the key to it all, the source of her strength, was the man beside her. Slowly, Raven reached out, lacing his fingers with hers. A gesture of solidarity, of unshakable fate. Samantha clung to his hand like a lifeline, drawing from his steadiness, his quiet courage. Together, they turned to face the watching crowd, voices ringing out as one. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The time of the tyrant king is at an end. Magic will be free once more. A roar of triumph went up from the rebels, drowning out the cries of the defeated hunters. In that moment, as dawn broke over the blood-soaked ground, Samantha felt the first stirrings of real hope, and the first whispers of a love that could shatter kingdoms. But even as she leaned into Raven's solid warmth, she couldn't shake the dread coiling in her gut, for she knew with grim certainty that this was only the beginning. Her father, the king, would never let this rebellion stand. He would rain down fire and blood upon them all until nothing remained but ash and bone. 
unless Samantha stopped him first. Even if it meant sacrificing everything, and everyone, she held dear. The rebel army marched on the capital, a sea of determined faces and blazing torches, magic crackling in the air like an oncoming storm. At their head rode Samantha and Raven, hands clasped, a united front against the darkness that had ruled for too long. But even as the city walls loomed before them, Samantha couldn't shake the icy fingers of dread trailing down her spine. She knew her father, knew the depths of his cruelty and his lust for power. He would never surrender, never relinquish his iron grip on the kingdom. This fight would be to the death. And she feared in her bones that it would be Raven's blood spilled on the marble steps of the palace. The thought of losing him, just when she'd found a love she'd never dared to dream of, tore at her very soul. As if sensing her fears, Raven drew their joined hands to his lips, pressing a fierce kiss to her knuckles. Together, he whispered, storm-dark eyes boring into hers. No matter what happens, we face it together. Samantha nodded, not trusting her voice. She clung to his strength, his unwavering faith, as they charged through the crumbling city gates, magic and steel clashing in a symphony of war. They fought their way through the winding streets, rebels and royal guards locked in bloody combat. Samantha unleashed her power in searing waves, incinerating her father's men, shielding her friends from harm. Beside her, Raven was a whirlwind of deadly grace, his sword flashing in the firelight. But with every step toward the palace, the resistance grew fiercer, more desperate. Samantha's heart pounded in her throat as they mounted the steps, the great oaken doors looming before them like the gates of hell. With a final shattering boom, the doors burst inward. And there, seated on his throne of bone and iron, was the tyrant king himself, Samantha's father. He rose to his feet his black robes billowing, his eyes cold and pitiless as he surveyed the rebel force. Ungrateful child, he spat, fixing his gaze on Samantha. I gave you life, and this is how you repay me? With treason and betrayal. Samantha stepped forward, chin high, magic crackling at her fingertips. No, father. You gave me fear pain, a lifetime of lies. But I found the truth and I'm here to end your reign of terror, once and for all. The king laughed, a jagged, mirthless sound. You think you can defeat me? I, who have the power of a thousand mages at my command? He raised his hands, and the very ground began to shake. Dark, twisted shapes rose from the shadows, monstrous creations of blood magic and forbidden rites. They surged forward, a nightmare tide crashing against the rebel lines. Raven leaped to meet them, his blade a silver arc, magic blasting from his free hand. Samantha fought at his side, fire and lightning ripping from her soul, tearing through the abominations. But there were too many, an endless horde, and they just kept coming. Samantha heard the screams of her friends, saw them fall one by one, as the king's laughter echoed in the vaulted halls. Despair rose like bile in her throat. They couldn't win. She had led them all to their deaths. Led Raven to his doom. As if in slow motion, she saw a blade slice toward his unprotected back, saw his eyes widen in shock and pain. No. The scream tore from her throat, raw and ragged. Time seemed to stop. The world narrowed to the blood blooming on Raven's chest, the light fading from his eyes as he crumpled to the ground. Something snapped inside Samantha, a dam bursting, a supernova exploding. Power, raw and primal, surged through her veins, exploding outward in a blinding maelstrom of light. It incinerated the shadow beasts, reduced them to ash on the wind. It slammed into her father, lifting him off his feet, pinning him to the far wall. Samantha rose from the carnage like an avenging angel, wreathed in white fire, eyes blazing with righteous fury. She advanced on the king, each step shaking the very foundations of the palace. You, she hissed, voice trembling with barely leashed rage, have taken everything from me. My mother. My childhood. My love. She raised a hand fingers curled like claws. The king choked, scrabbling at his throat,
feet kicking feebly. No more. Your poisonous reign ends now. Slowly, inevitably, she closed her fist. The light in her father's eyes went out like a snuffed candle. He crumpled to the ground, a marionette with cut strings. In the ringing silence that followed, Samantha stood over his body, chest heaving, tears streaming down her face. It was over. After so many years of fear, of hiding, of desperately longing for freedom, it was finally over. But the cost. Dear gods. The cost. A soft groan shattered her stupor. Her head whipped around, hope and dread warring in her heart. There, stirring weakly on the blood-soaked flagstones. Raven Dosh. Alive. Wounded, but alive. Samantha flew to his side, gathering him into her arms, magic already weaving over his wound, knitting flesh and bone. Stay with me, she pleaded, voice breaking on a sob. Please, Raven, don't leave me now. His eyes fluttered open, hazy with pain but achingly tender as they found hers. Never, he rasped. I will never leave you, Samantha Ray, in this life or the next. She kissed him then, fierce and desperate, tasting salt and copper, joy and sorrow. The kiss of a rebel queen and her consort, of two souls forged in the crucible of war and bound by unbreakable love. Around them, the kingdom rejoiced, voices rising in a symphony of newfound freedom. The shadow had lifted, the long night finally at an end. But for Samantha, wrapped in Raven's arms, lost in the miracle of his living breath, the truest victory was here. In the love that had saved her, redeemed her, remade her. A love that would build a new world from the ashes of the old. A love to light the ages. A tale whispered in reverent tones by generations to come. The legend of the Mage Queen and her Raven Knight. And the unstoppable power of a heart unleashed.